We're driving up north to the border Tele Bridge. But first, our truck is cleaned in Stegspeed. Funnily enough, in this village you can find a car wash at every corner. Of course, we wanted to take advantage of that. The entire procedure took longer than expected. It was 4.30 p.m. in the meantime. I was worried that we had to find an overnight location in the dark. And indeed, that was what happened. When we turned off the tar road, the track not only became more of a gravel road, but was rather scruffy with holes and with deep washed out grooves. But it was always wide enough for us and usually even for two cars. Again and again the street follows the hills up and down. Poor Globy has to work quite hard, like Peter, as driving on those kind of roads is pretty exhausting. And after a while the back and the lower back start hurting because of the shaking. On the other hand, we get rewarded with breathtaking views and gorgeous landscapes. The people in the villages are all super friendly. They smile and wave. It's a pure pleasure. And the women, less so the men, get all dolled up really nicely on Sundays, sometimes even with a little hat. We recognize that the streets are relatively quiet with hardly any traffic, at least when it comes to motorists. But apart from that, you see a potpourri on the wonderful new tar roads. Donkeys, sheep, goats, cows, pedestrian, everything what you can expect in Lesotho. Accordingly, we are quite surprised as a bus crossed us in reality. This embankment dam is pretty new and delivers power to the entire region. Really a milestone for the people here. The little roundhouses are super cute and perfectly cool in summer and cuddly warm in winter. We are happy for Lesotho and its people that the big transversals are tart now. The passes are pretty high and the streets are exposed respectively. But somehow two feelings are fighting in my chest. On the one hand I'm happy that it is so safe now, but on the other hand it is of course less adventurous. Before we head towards the border again, we visit a national park in the north of Lesotho. What was astonishing though was the huge pedestrian lindworm. It seems that strolling around on the street is a very common Sunday amusement. And then it's time to say goodbye to Lesotho. We've experienced a poor but extremely beautiful country with open-minded and friendly people. Mm -hmm.